Hello guys, this is Rattles. Today I'm going to show you some of the differences and the way to keep your glue. So, previous video I have shown you guys the, um, how I keep my um, glue in a jar like this. It's a very good jar. You could, it's a more of a honey jar or a gem jar if you can find it on, online or you can also buy it empty. Um, these are very practical because it's easy to open and it's also, it seals very good. And I've been using this jar very, for a very long time. And I recently tried to uh, try different glue. I normally use Aquilium 315 very often, but then I wanted to very I want want some, wanted something very um, very strong and uh, I want something um, uh, sticks very well for a long time uh, without failing with the water or, or any other that um, it's a synthetic stuff that it's, I can glue with. So. In terms of rubber and also leather, it glues very well with this type of special glue, which I'm very um, trying at the moment. But the only one thing issue that I have found with keeping a glue in a jar like this is that this type of um, this um, what I call sealant or this um, rubber um, rubber ring, so to say, swells up during the time. I haven't noticed it because it's it's happened so slowly until I opened it uh, recently and this has just got so much bigger than previously the original one so it's just same brand same jar but then it's the size got so much glue that it doesn't fit anymore in this jar so look at this guys so it doesn't even fit and if you try to still use this thing to close it I mean it kind of fits I mean but it doesn't uh, kind of doesn't work. I've tried to. This is my second, uh, actually my second, uh, sealant or, or rubber ring. But then, uh, doesn't it doesn't it keep happening? So I think it's has something to do with the solvent that you use for this um, type of glue. I just wanted to show you something. So what happens is that I thought, but then still, this this will work as a sealant, and if it's that, I mean, it's not a problem. But I've noticed that this glue. It's now a bit thick. It has um, vaporized. Um, the solvent has vaporized quite a bit. And now it's very thick. It's almost like honey now. So it's quite too thick. Yeah. The solution that I have is that I'm not sure if you guys know already. Um, this is a, a um, glue jar. Uh, it's or it's called um, Glue Boy. So I don't know why the name is Glue Boy or something like this. It uh, happens. Uh, you can find it online. Uh, I will put the link in the description box or comment box where you can purchase this. Uh, it doesn't matter the maker. You can get a lot of generic stuff. Uh, this is a um, very small size. Um, this is, I think, 0 0.3 or 4 liter. Uh, this is a very small one. Uh, I think this is the smallest one you can get. There are huge ones. Uh, there are six liter, 600 liter, uh, milliliter or 1 liter. There's a huge one if you are working in a workshop or big production. Um, company or production line you're using a big one it's just a way to keep your glue very um, easy to use and stuff so I'll show you so you you open a you can open this glue just like this it just doesn't have any rubber but then it just seals very well with that kind of um, just friction fit so if you just use this as a just does just seal it very well. I was very surprised. And this ring just serves as this um, place to put your cap, and the glue is just good as as new. So when you fill up glue, you can just tilt it like this, and then you can pour glue like this. The secret to this um, glue glue is that this glue can fill it up to this this very narrow alley and then just fills it up this spot so it can contain many glue and as you use it this glue comes it apart and just keep going flow into this direction so that you just having a fresh glue at the reservoir and then you use a brush or you can use also use a small um, applicator if you like so uh, you can also put it um, place it empty here and then you can remove the rest of the glue later on if you want so that's that so for yellow gooey stuff um, rather than the water-based glue I use this pot now it's super effective I like this a lot and you can keep a glue like this when you saw it you get minimized this um, glue drying and uh, it's quite practical you can just move around it's 
quite quite light and it's also aesthetically pleasing and it's quite interesting so this is glue boy um, depending on country name is a bit different but it's all, all probably the same it's very cheap it's, uh, it's only a, uh, under under quite 10 under US 10 US dollar I think it's um, and so it's a good tool and in, in case you guys you know you get some glue all dried up inside or dried up somewhere do not waste your money on uh, finding a solvent to melt this um, you have this um, type of um, guarantee that it, this thing guarantees for five years of a sealant so after five years of use you'll get slowly not get the proper sealant um, on the seams this seems the bottom and the top is ultrasonically um, melted and it just glued but then after a few years you will get air between here and there and then the, the cap will also swell also because of the deformation or it will just um, start to show more of an air gap between the between the plastic parts and eventually this thing will be not usable so after five years uh, you will not be able to use this so it's a it's a dispensable item just store it away if you get um, glue dried up inside don't waste your money on trying to get the glue out just buy a new one and that's it so Hope this video helps you to find a good proper glue um, bottle and if you have any glue tips please leave in the comments and i'll see you guys next video bye bye